So far we discussed about the different concepts in this chapter starting from work, energy, power and how to measure the consumption of electricity etc. Now this is the time to use our knowledge to solve problems. So the first numerical for you. An object thrown at a certain angle to the ground moves in a curved path and falls back to the ground. The initial and final points of the path of the object lies on the same horizontal line. What is the work done by the force of gravity on the object? So it seems to be a big question, but it's not a very big question if you frame the whole the question in terms of a pictorial representation. See here. So there's an object, this is the ground, so this is the ground, and it has thrown, we're making some angle to the ground. So let's say the point A, it's thrown and it describes the curved path and falls onto the point B on the same horizontal line. Now they're asking what is the work done by the force of gravity? For work done, W, the formula is force into displacement, as we know. Here the force is the force of gravity. Force of gravity is actually acting downwards. So, you need to see the work done, if any work done is done in the direction of the force of gravity. Okay. If you want to find that the total path from A to B, it is nothing but a distance travel, as you learned in the first chapter. But in the work done formula, it is the force is a vector, displacement is also a vector quantity. So, here you should not take the distance, instead you take the displacement. When we take displacement, we say starting point, ending point, and the shortest distance between starting and ending point. Let us write, uh, let us locate C, the highest point in the path. Then from A to C, so A to C, this is the height reached, A to C, in this way. C to B, the displacement, the same height, but in this direction. So, from A to C, AC, the height reached is H. C to B, again the height covered is H. C to B equal to H. But the only difference is, as is displacement, the C to B is opposite to the first one. So, therefore, we need to keep minus H. And the total displacement is nothing but AC plus CB, which is equal to 0. H minus H equal to 0. So, therefore, the amount of work done by the force of gravity is F into 0, which is equal to 0. So, there is no amount of work done by the force of gravity. Now the next problem for you. A battery lights a bulb. Then you need to write the energy changes taking place. So, this is the bulb, but this bulb is connected to the battery. So, say this is the battery. The battery has two signs and the battery is connected to the bulb. Now, what type of energy is taking place? Generally, you know that when you have uh, the bulb connected to the uh, top of your side wall of the ceiling and if you switch on from the main, main board, the lights glow and you know that it is because of electrical energy converts to light energy. But here is a small difference. We are not connected to the main supply we are connected to the battery. Now from the battery, some energy is converting into electrical and that electrical energy goes to the bulb, making the bulb to glow. And the question is, what is the energy the battery actually converting into the electrical energy? Yes, there it is. It is nothing but chemical energy. So in the battery, the chemical energy turns to electrical energy. Now, the electrical energy, electrical energy supplied to the bulb and the bulb glows. Therefore, the, the bulb glows means it gives light energy to you. And after some time, if you touch the bulb, you feel hot. That means, in addition to the light energy, you are also getting heat energy. So therefore, the electrical energy converts to light 
and heat. So this is the energy conversion is happening. And here we can confidently say that energy is conserved and it is not at all wasted. So chemical to electrical in the battery and in the bulb it is electrical to light and heat. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.